So in this video, we're going to work on the idea of driving with a heading. That means it's going to have an angle set, uh, and it's going to have that angle set from an initial angle, which is which way it's facing when we start, and it's going to be able to turn different angles based on that initial angle and drive in that direction, um, which is a really interesting idea, and it's a nice way of being able to drive uh, accurately in specific uh, directions so that you can, for example, draw the path of a square or follow a set routine. Um, so we're going to start by importing the thing that we need to import. I'm in um, Mr. C's RVR code version 3. Before I start too far, I'm going to go save as, and we're now going to be working in Mr. C's RVR code version 4. Obviously yours is going to have your own name here, and I'm going to press on OK. So I'm now working in version 4 here, and I'm going to go down to my imports, and I'm going to go from uh, Sphero underscore SDK, and I'm going to import, and this is a, an interesting one, it's called Drive Flags Bitmask. No idea why they called it that, but they did, so that's what we need to import. Scrolling down, we're going to create a drive with heading and that's going to be after my drive reverse function you should probably have a drive left and a drive right function by now as well uh, I haven't included those so that you don't copy them down so I'm going to go to def drive with heading now normally I would expect to pass into the variable speed and also the variable heading but I can't do that uh, because those are used in this function. So I'm going to have SP for speed and HEAD for heading. And that's what I'm going to pass in. So now I'm going to type in rvr.drive underscore with underscore heading. And I'm going to open up a bracket. And this time I'm going to press enter again and close the bracket. And I'm going to tab that back. So I'm going to delete that tab there. And that's where we're going to go. As usual, the tabs are important. So I now write, need to write speed. This is why I couldn't use the speed uh, in the passing in variables. So I'm going to pass in the variable or you set that equal to SP. I'm now going to put a comma and press enter. And SP can be any value from 0 to 255, as we discovered in the last video. I'm now going to put in heading, and this is why I couldn't use the word heading to pass my variables in. So I'm now going to just put in head. So the direction I'm going to head is set by an angle, which is 0 to 359 degrees. I'm also going to use a command that says flags is equal to drive flags bit oops bit mask got to spell it right so that's exactly right uh, and we're going none and we're going value and that should be enough for our drive with heading function hopefully that will work hopefully I haven't typed anything wrong and then I'm going to go down to my actual section of code where I tell the robot what to do and I'm going to uh, basically delete out all of this old code. I don't need to test those anymore. I know they're working. The first thing we need to do is we need to say rvr dot reset underscore your and your is to do with uh, the direction of the, the accelerometer on the rvr and the, um, uh, the gyro on the rvr is measuring and we're going to set that back. So it's going to be zero and zero degrees is going to be the direction we're heading. So now we're going to say drive with heading and I'm going to set mine to be 50 which is very slow and I'm going to set it to drive to zero uh, degrees so it's going to drive forward from the direction it's currently pointing uh, for let's just say time dot sleep 0.5 seconds. The main reason is I don't have a lot of room where I'm working at the moment. It's important your robot's on the floor at the moment too. So now I'm going to say drive 
with heading and I'm going to speed it, move it along at a speed 50 and I'm going to then move it uh, 90 degrees. So it's actually going to turn 90 degrees before it drives for a speed of 50. Once again for a time dot sleep of 0 0.5 uh, and hopefully it won't hit the wall but we'll see. So I'm going to save that now. I'm going to run it and hopefully I don't have any errors. And yeah, it did actually hit the wall. Uh, it drove for a little bit. It turned very aggressively 90 degrees to the right. So that's basically if we turn clockwise 90 degrees to the right. If I wanted it to turn to the left, I would have typed in 270 degrees. If I type in 270 degrees now, it'll actually turn back 180 from where it currently is. So zero degrees is always the way it was initially facing. It's difficult to get your head around, but once you play with it a bit, you'll start to understand.